just sort of soaks up that bullion. Or you can tear off some bread squares and try dipping. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, we carry on. Yeah, you guys can have some. Yeah. We can spice it up. Well, I, I okay, you're, doing the one. you're right. I put this over actually spaghetti, just as a, as a for pasta, and it works pretty good. <laughs> Audience pictures, reviews, the I, whole nine yards. I, I'm completely against taking pictures oh. of people while they're eating. Oh. I feel that it's horribly rude, and it's been yeah. something that I have stand. Uh, I, I mean, Jan, from your I, to Jan, I, I, it's something that I have stood by since I was a child. And I actually got into a fight with my aunt at a family reunion when I was 12 because she tried to take a picture of me while I was eating. Wow. Why would you do that? Well, they say that's the, the highest price photo for um, like paparazzi. Yeah. If you catch you know, like Britney Spears eating a hamburger or something, they will get the most money for that. Because, you know, they don't eat. They don't eat normal. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what's going in there now? So uh, that right there, then, is the spice. Okay. Um, the curry. Curry. curry powder. Curry powder? Everything. Two, okay. two tablespoons? Uh, that was like a tablespoon and a little over because we got 
cut some more vegetables. We'll put a little more okay. um, so we, bouillon in there. That's a little bit more uh, yep, just quantity. Cool. And I waited until the onions got cooked down a little bit before I added that. Yeah. And while that is going, normally when I add the uh, the curry is when I start heating up my Water. Uh, thank you. 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 Who's the other one? Small one. Oh, okay. Cool. I, I, I stopped enjoying it when he served me um, German sausage and cabbage curry, and then I was like, I can't take mm. this anymore. This is gross. <laughs> no, too many cultures going on. It, yeah. it was, it was like, it's such a great idea. We're going to do this right now. And I'm like, this is a bad idea. I've never heard of like, Indian German synergy food. <laughs> I, I smell uh, it. Could be next. Yeah. Could be the next big, big thing. No, it's not the next big thing. I can tell you. I tried it. It's not the next big thing. <laughs> Schnitzel and, you know. Do not attempt. Curry is awful. Try some. Yeah, exactly. So, this is what spices it up just ground red pepper. Oh, okay. So, so that's for uh, to a winter time. Spice it up and make it red. Well, I didn't hear you say oops or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the lid off. I generous fan. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. A generous sprinkling that uh, you can taste and more is But I did get some hotter stuff actually from the store you recommended. And yeah. it was not any hotter than no, this. No. And then I talked to some people that cook and they're like, well, we just add more red pepper. Red pepper. Yeah. yeah. So it's just one blend that they work with pretty much for most of the time. And I think there's there's other curry blends. Um, curry, which you probably know, is just a phrase for uh, mixed spices. So yeah. There's very many blends. Most families will mix their own. Traditional Indian families will have their special family recipe. And the different parts of India have you know, cultural tendencies. Some are very, very spicy. And so that was about a cup and a half of water. Just because we got all those vegetables. This is the one with the potatoes and the carrots. Yes, that we spiced up a little. Okay. So, that is ready. Yeah. I don't want to spend the money on all these all kinds of crazy spices that I would only use. It is for a very adaptable thing that yeah. I've found. Yeah. I mean, one spice and I, I mean, that's if I want it hot. Right. You know, and it goes very good with vegetables. Right. Which I have to like. So. Right. We're on the summer, chef, vegetables, all the time. 
just going to throw a little spelt in there. If that's not spelt. Just because it's not thickening, thickening up, although it, it should. So, probably just being impatient. But I do like the flavor. That's flour? This is spelt flour. Spelt flour? Yes, yeah. it's a very ancient grain. Romans used to use it. Mm. Maybe yeah. Take a close up of it. <clears throat> Why don't you say you can take a smell if you want? Absolutely. After I. Smell yeah. Wow. Cool. Did you get it? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. That should be ready very shortly. So, I'm going to grab it. And the nice part about this is, is the ingredients that you need to have on hand is onions and the rest of the stuff you know, you've got laying around. Whatever vegetables you have, you know, your spice and the butter, which you always have, right? Mm -hmm. So it's not like a whole lot of preparation make a simple meal. So very convenient. Are you videotaping with that camera or taking pictures? I'm videotaping. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we have some on, on YouTube, yeah? Some okay. of the older ones. Older ones, yeah. So what are some of the other classes you guys have? <clears throat> um, well, last we week had, yeah, last week we had a welding class. Welding yeah. class is very popular. Um, we do, regularly we do a shop safety course um, that gives you the training that you need to use some of our higher end tools. Um, and work in our machine shop. You have to have taken a safety class before you can use our machine shop. Um, we have several different craft classes throughout the year. Um, anything from making jewelry out of old uh, recycled circuit boards and electronic <coughs> pieces to a full on, um, we had a corsetry course, which was a three week course um, where you, we made corsets. That was a higher, uh, it wasn't a higher skill class. You, all you had to know how to do was sew, but it was a yeah, more expensive class. Mm -hmm. sure. But for what you got out of it, it was it was $75 for non-members. Um, but the product you walked away with, well, you would buy at a trade show for about $300. So 
So and we also have uh, soldering classes, computer classes. We do we have a lot of like lectures where people come in and just talk about stuff, and they do anything from 3D printing to um, Robert's Rules of Order, which is how <laughs> yeah. our our yep. board our board runs on Robert's Rules of Order. So when we switched to that, we had a class and one of our board members presented on that, and then. Um, we're hoping to, we're hoping to bring in a, a bigger variety of classes. Um, that's why yeah. we've started doing Photoshop. We have not had a Photoshop. Well, we have the system. We have the system, we, we but we haven't had a class. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, 